how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel did you know one of the best things about owning an android phone is the amount of customization that it offers with that being said in today's video i'll be showing you some of the best apps that will take your android customization to the next level now as always i'll be giving away some promo codes in this video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys the first app on today's list goes by the name called music live wallpaper if you are someone who loves listening to music on your smartphone then this app is tailor made for you what it does is it allows you to put the album cover of your favorite music as your home screen wallpaper this app seamlessly syncs with your music player adapting to the rhythm of your playlist and transforms the album art into ever changing backgrounds for your home screen all you need to do is simply install the app from the play store and allow the permissions that are required in the app you can choose which music streaming apps you have installed on your phone customize the wallpaper style add different animations enable the blur effect and once you are done setting up the application just click on the option that says set as music wallpaper now whenever you play any music on your phone the app turns your music album art into a new background for your home screen it's a really unique application which is totally free on the play store definitely give this app a try Next up we have got a brand new launcher that has recently launched on the Play Store and it's called DNA Launcher. It's a unique launcher that offers three different styles for your home screen. You can have this iOS inspired home screen where you get some of your favorite applications along with a dock at the bottom of your screen and by swiping right you get access to the app library just like iOS 17. And here we have all the applications that are neatly organized in different folders. Now let's say you don't like this iOS inspired look on your phone and you really want to try something clean and minimal then just head over to the launcher settings click on launcher style and choose minimalism this will completely change the layout of your home screen and you'll have something that looks kind of minimalistic and one handed friendly so this way you can quickly navigate through all your applications apart from this we also get this holographic style as well so these are three different styles and you can choose whichever you like for your home screen Overall I think it's a really good launcher that offers so many customization features and for the price of free I will highly recommend you to give this launcher a try. With Android 14 Google has added some beautiful looking widgets and even if you don't own a Pixel smartphone you can install this amazing pack called Android 14 KWGT. This pack comes with more than 60 Android 14 inspired widgets and all these changes the color automatically depending on your current wallpaper. Now as you can see these widgets are heavily inspired by the Material U design language and if you really want to get that pixel look on your smartphone no matter whether you got a pixel device or not then I think it's a must have widget pack for you unfortunately it's not a free widget pack it is paid but I do have 20 promo codes to give away to get one all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel like and comment on this video and send me a DM on Instagram asking for the promo code it's a first come first serve basis Next up we have an app called Jolt. Jolt is a color screen customization app that provides you with all kinds of different themes that you can set as your caller ID. Trust me, all these looks great when you receive calls on your phone. All you have to do is simply install the app from the Play Store and set it as your default phone application. Once done, simply open the app and here you can choose different styles for your color screen. You can customize and make your color screen looks like Samsung's One UI. Google Pixel or even you can get iOS inspired color screen for your phone. Not only this, you can also change the layout, customize the call buttons, add different backgrounds for different contacts and the best part is it even lets you to add video background for a specific contact. All in all, I think it's a great app that will completely change the look of your phone's boring color screen. Be sure to check this one out. You will find all the links in the description below. The next app on this list is called Notcher Launcher. This is a super simple app that lets you increase the functionality of your phone's notch. You just need to tap on the camera cutout and it shows the list of your favorite apps which you can access from anywhere on your phone. You simply need to select all the apps that you want to add to your phone's notch and you can also customize the appearance and behavior of the notch to suit your preferences. Overall, it's a pretty useful app that can transform this punch hole into a useful feature. It definitely makes your device more efficient and improve the multitasking experience on your smartphone. So if you really want to make better use of your phone's camera cutout, then be sure to check this one out. At number 6, we have an app called Volume Control Styles. This is an application that lets you customize the way your volume panel looks. Now, as you can see when you open up the app, you have got a lot of options to choose from. You can select everything from One UI to MIUI to pixel-inspired volume panel if you want so. 
and all of them are fully functional. They expand to show different types of volume knobs that you can control. Not only you can add different skins, but you can also change the position of your volume panel. You can adjust the time on screen, add more functions to the volume slider and do lot more. All in all, it's a pretty cool application that can mimic any smartphone volume panel, no matter which phone you're currently using. It is totally free on the Play Store, so definitely give this app a try. Samsung users have a good lock module called Keys Cafe by using which they can customize and add some really cool effects to their Samsung keyboard. Now even if you don't have a Samsung phone but you still want to try something similar on your Android device, then you can install this app from the Play Store and it is completely free to download. Once done, the first thing you need to do is simply change your default keyboard by going into your phone settings. Here you can customize and add different themes. You can apply some really nice effects which I think looks really cool when you are typing anything on your keyboard. Not only this, you can also change the layout of your keyboard, add some functional buttons, you can change the color, add different wallpapers in the background and do lot more. Overall, I think it's a really good application that changes the entire way how you type on your smartphone. Finally, we have this super simple app that lets you save your current home screen and lock screen wallpaper inside your phone's gallery. There are times when you actually don't remember from where you got your current wallpaper and if someone asks to share their specific wallpaper, then it gets really difficult to find. In such situations, you can install this app called Get Current Wallpaper. Once you open up the app, here you can select whether you want to retrieve your home screen or lock screen wallpaper. Now your current wallpaper will be saved automatically to your phone's gallery. It's a very simple process and the best part is all these wallpapers get saved without the loss of quality. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing applications that will take your Android customization to the next level. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.